going to talk today about bracing up your trusses on your shed. Uh, I'm Alan, and this is Alan Bale. So when you've got your top and bottom girt in, you can put your diagonal braces in. Um, it's probably, you can't do all your girts and all your purlins because you've got them, they're actually holding the building up for the moment. So um, you need a top and bottom girt there to get those two braces in and you need to strap it, stretch it out. So I used a cargo strap and um, tightened that up with a G-clamp on the end, pulled it nice and tight and put some screws in it. Once that's done, you can put in the centre girts, you can put some sheets on, stiffen the whole shed up, and that way the entire side of the shed will be rigid. And you do the same with the roof. Um, roof trusses are up there. Um, you need to have the top and bottom purlins on before you stretch those, and you can put the others in later. And each one, of course, has a screw in it afterwards. Um, so you can stretch it. I used a uh, cargo strap off the back of the ute, um, pulled that diagonal strap across nice and tight, stretched it down to the ute and then I cut it off after it was all screwed in place. Uh, once that's done, get some sheeting on and then finish your girts, finish your purlins and finish all the rest of your sheeting. <laughs> 